Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da ayyul habbati fillah I felt that it would be beneficial to go over something concise and simple for us to digest about the minhaj of the salaf the methodology of the salaf al-salih and this comes from a lecture by Imam Sheikh Dr. Salih bin Fuzan, Hafidhullah Ta'ala. And this was translated by our brother uh, Mustafa George. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve him and bless him and reward him for his efforts in calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Sheikh began his treaties by saying Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Who are the Salaf al-Salih? All praise belongs to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and upon his family and all his companions. Amma ba'd. The topic of this lecture is very important. It is as you have heard and as has been announced the methodology of the Salaf al-Salih meaning the pious predecessors, and the Ummah's need for it. Ahabatifillah, just in this beginning of the introduction, is very important. As it highlights in the Imam bin Fuzan, Rahmatullah Ta'ala, he mentioned that the title of his lecture is the methodology of the Salaf al-Salih, the minhaj of the Salaf, Salaf al-Salih. And what's important, he said Salaf al-Salih. He said Salih, meaning the pious predecessors. Meaning not, not that everyone during the time of the Salaf was righteous. Not everyone from the time of the Salaf was Muslim. Not everyone from the time of the Salaf should be followed. But rather, the minhaj of the Salaf al-Salih refers to the way of the pious predecessor. So it's muqayyid. It's restricted to those who were pious during that time. Meaning from the time of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in, beginning with the Sahaba. They're the uh, ras or ru'us of the salaf. They are the, uh, the heads of the salaf of this ummah. And then the tabi'in with ba'a tabi'in. And so those from those three generations who were the righteous, who fit the criterion to be a Sahaba or fit the criterion to be from the Tabi'een or from the Itba'a Tabi'een, that those people are who we're referring to when we talk about the Medhab of the Salaf, the Minhaj of the Salaf, the methodology of the Salaf. And along with that, it means that we are talking about those things which they are in agreement to. So this is very important for us to understand this. Why? Because some people take a narration from the Salaf, and it could be any narration. It could be a weak narration, or it could be a narration which was from the Ijtihad, or uh, you know the 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 particular individual could have been from our Salaf Salih, but it was his uh, his. Um, his own opinion, or his reasoning, or his analogy. And those issues, we do not say that that is the madhab of the Salaf. Because if it was something that the Salaf were not in agreement with, then we don't refer to that as being the minhaj of the Salaf. So we are looking at those issues which the Salaf were united upon. And of course those issues would be in creed as far as the the major aspects of creed, of aqidah, the Salaf were united upon that. The Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in, were united upon creed. There were those minute issues, or those issues, I should say, that are very detailed tafsil, which have no tafsir, no effect on your, your aqidah and your practice of Islam, where they might differ about uh, intricate messiahs, messiah of uh, itaqad. But in general, when we refer to the madhab of the salaf, the minhaj of the salaf, we're referring to 
those things that the Salaf of Saleh, as the Sheikh said, uh, the pious predecessors, what they were upon in uh, consensus. And then he said, and the Ummah's need for it. This is the title of the, the short treatise or the lecture that the Sheikh gave. And this is Ishara or this is showing us the importance of this minhaj, that this minhaj is not restricted to a few individuals or to a particular sect or group, but this is the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what they need, what they should be adhering to. The Prophet ﷺ said, Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnata khulafa rashidin al mahdiin. He said, It's upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided khalifat. The Prophet ﷺ said, Khayr al nas qarni thumma ladina yalunuhum thumma ladina yalunuhum. The Prophet ﷺ said, The best people is my generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. So letting us know that this is the need of the ummah and that that is the way and the methodology of the best of this ummah and the best of those three generations. And it's the way of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala, anhum ajma'een. That is the minhaj of the Salaf, that we must, we are obligated to follow the minhaj of the Salaf. And this differs with the issue of necessarily calling yourself Salafi. And that's something we'll try to discuss uh, if it doesn't distract from our main topic as we begin to uh, go over this short treatise and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.